looking good? Um, you know, everyone's looking good. Landon Collins, Nick Perrin, Penny. Uh, we all just stepping up. Jerry Williams, you know, we all just stepping up trying to play a role and find our role in this defense. Playing both, all of you playing both sides? Or? Both, uh, we're both playing free and safety. Everyone's playing free and safety right now. How's Jay Miller come on? Jay Miller has come a long way from day one. You know, he's getting, he's getting more comfortable back there. He's, he's learning, he's picking it up very faster than what I did. So he's doing pretty good. We, we see Coach Saban working with the, the defensive back. Can you just take take us through what that's like when your head coach is working almost in a position coach capacity? Um, it's a blessing to have the head coach coaching. He actually coaches the defense. So, you know, just to have Coach Saban back there, he knows who can play. He knows who's capable of doing it. So you're not doing it wrong. He's going to be on you. So it's, it's, it's just a blessing to have him back there coaching us and knowing the defense and knowing every position that he knows. What personal goals have you set for this coming season? Um, I, I said a lot, you know, uh, I want to work on my form tackling, breaking on the ball in the middle of the field, uh, being more vocal, speaking to my corners, my linebackers, and just being consistent. Uh, what kind of a leader is CJ? CJ, CJ Mosley is a great leader. You know, he, he leads the defense, to be honest. He tells us what to do. He tells us where to come down at. Uh, he gives a lot of checks and calls. So CJ has a very, a very big impact on our defense. Do you notice that he's been hurt a bunch of spring? Not at all. I don't see any difference from when he wasn't hurt and when he, and he is hurt. I don't even know if he is hurt. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> the statistics they've given out after the scrimmages show a lot of passing yards, a lot of touchdown passes. Are, there, are those misleading? Uh, you know, we all make mistakes. You know, we just have to learn from them. You know, we, we go into the scrimmage trying to do our best and compete. And sometimes, you know, we get a little lazy, get a little sloppy and stuff like that. So we just try to stay, stay focused and just play our ball. How good has AJ looked uh, this spring? AJ has been awesome. You know, uh, he's been slinging the ball as he he's always done. So AJ is a great quarterback, and uh, I'm just great to have him on my team and just can compete against him at safety. How busy has Christian Jones been flopping back and forth? Christian Jones, I respect him a lot. You know, it, it's pretty hard for him to to learn both. I mean, he already knows offense, and he comes over to the defense and picks it up very well. So CJ has been doing a great job for us, just coming over and picking that. Like I said, defense is hard. It's a hard thing to learn. And for him just to come over and pick it up and be consistent and, and keep going hard, it, it's, it's crazy. Hey, on those same lines, how about Cyrus? Who's, who looks like he's going to stay over there. Uh, Cy Cyrus is unbelievable. Uh, from day one, he, he's been working hard, learning. And when he makes a mistake, he learns from the mistake and just keep moving forward. So cause Cyrus has been very consistent for us as well. So he's great help on our defense. You've seen all the quarterbacks. Who are some that uh, I know they'll probably all look good, but uh, anybody standing out other than A.J.? Uh, Blake Sims is getting a lot better. Uh, Eli is. Um, I mean, all of them are just competing right now, so they're all doing a good job from my, my point of view. Coach Saban was saying how some guys, when the lights are on, they, they turn it on, and that's what would be the case in the A game. Do you sense that as well, that guys will take it up a level because of because of the yeah. fifth spring game? You know, uh, I, mean, no, I mean, who doesn't want to turn it up on A day? I mean, you have all those fans in, in the stadium coming to watch you 80,000 plus or whatnot. So, I mean, I'm going to turn up a notch more than what I think I could, you know, just because I have those fans watching. So, I mean, of course, I expect everyone to come out and step it up even more than what they have been doing in this spring. Did you come to an A-Day game when you were a prospect? Yes, I came to a lot of them. Did that uh, impress you? Physically? Yeah, ha having those, I mean, this atmosphere here is crazy, period. You know, and uh, just having that many fans at the spring game, it it's crazy. You know, when I came, it was like one-on-one. -on -one. In, in the stadium, and it was super hot, so <laughs> I didn't stay too long. But it, it was just crazy to see all those fans at the spring game. How do you and this team uh, keep collectively from becoming complacent after winning a national title? I mean, coach preaches on it all the time. This team coming up has not done anything. That was last year's team. You know, now we have to find ourselves and define ourselves and go out and compete. In 2013. Have you eaten steak or beans the past couple of years? Well, last year was my first year, and I had steak, and I look forward to eating steak again this year. How do you like that steak? Pretty good. I'll tell you that much. I don't want any beanie, beanies and weenies. <laughs> Are you a rare guy or well, well done? done or? Well done. Mm -hmm. The coach was saying that not many players show up for the for the beans. Oh, well, yeah. well, the coach makes them show up for those beans. He's he going to make them get what they deserve, so they have to show up for that. Blake Sims sent out a tweet today that a lot of players are kind of talking back and forth with each other about who's going to win. You hearing some of that? Uh, you know, I haven't heard much of that right now. I haven't heard any of that, to be honest. One more? Good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.